Rosivastatin belongs to class of drugs called antihyperlipidemic drug. Rosivastatin inhibit the enzyme 3-hydroxy-3-methylglutyryl coenzyme A reductase, which prevents the conversion of HMG-CoA to mevalinate. This is the rate-limiting step in cholesterol synthesis. As a result, there's a decrease in cholesterol synthesis. This also causes hepatic cells to increase the number of LDL receptors on their surface, which also decreases plasma cholesterol. Statins also exert other beneficial effects as well, include decreased C-reactive protein in patients with chronic heart disease, enhance the endothelial production of nitrous oxide, increase plaque stability, reduce lipoprotein oxidation, and also decrease platelet aggregation. If we talk about the dosing of rosivastatin, rosivastatin is a high-intensity statin. It is given as 20 to 40 mg daily, if LDL cholesterol is greater than 50%. Rosivastatin is dosed 5 to 10 mg daily, if LDL cholesterol is range from 30% to 49%. Absorption of the statins is variable following oral administration. All statins are metabolized by cytochrome P450 isoenzymes in the liver, except provostatin. Excretion takes place principally through bile and feces, but some urinary elimination also occurs. Most common side effects of this drug include gastrointestinal symptoms, like abdominal cramps, diarrhea or constipation, flatulence, and heartburn. Statins also cause myalgias, arthralgias, myopathy, and cognitive impairment. With rosivastatin, patients can develop a skin rash and may experience headache and dizziness. Use lower starting doses of rosivastatin if creatinine clearance in less than 30 milliliters per minute. Talking about the contraindications. Statins are teratogenic, so they should be avoided during pregnancy. These medications are also contraindicated during breastfeeding and in patients with active hepatic disease and should be used with caution in patients with a history of previous hepatic disease. In the end, some drug interactions of rosivastatin. There is an increased risk of myopathies when used with fibrates. So, avoid rosivastatin with gemfibrozil and niacin products containing greater than 1 gram of drug. Myopathy, including rhabdomyolysis, has been reported when co-administered with colchicine. Statins may enhance anticoagulant effect of warfarin. So, monitor INR after initiation or dose change. And finally, rosivastatin and pravastatin generally have less drug interactions compared to other statins. So, that's all about the pharmacology of rosivastatin. Hope you like this video. For more pharmacology pearls, keep sharing and keep supporting us. Thank you.